Hi, today in the ther series of the therapeutic exercise lectures, we are going to study the stretching for impaired mobility, which is a chapter four. So basically, we are first we are going to see what is mobility. So mobility can be described. Mobility can be described based on based on two different. but interrelated parameters so first uh, first we dis dis uh, first we have to define what is mobility so first we define what is mobility mobility the ability of structure or segment segments of the joint of the body of the body to move or be moved to allow the presence of R O N R O N any range of motion for functional functional activities and so the ability of a structure segment of the body to move or be moved to allow the presence of R O N for functional abilities is basically we say that the ability of any part of the body to move so simply we say that the ability of any structure of the body is how they move and be moved so to they complete the normal ROMs for normal functional mobilities functional abilities it basically includes the daily activities which we perform on the daily basis like if we grasp a grass a cup or if we take an up pen another so for the second definition of mobility is the ability of an individual to initiate control or sustain sustain active movements of the body movements of the body so simply uh, the ability of the individual to perform uh, the simply uh, uh, to perform through to perform motor skills skills okay simply if we say that the ability of an individual to initiate to control any any a movement which is performed by an individual to initiate it to control it you need to start it how to control it how to sustain the active movements and how the body performs a, a motor skills like that motor skills includes our nor our normal body movements or rom so how we initiate them how we control them how we sustain them like that how we hold them for the time and how we perform how we have to hold these that is like that <clears throat> okay now we are going to see that uh, as we know the movement uh, as we know mobility is related to related to functional uh, related to basically re relates to functional functional rom rom <clears throat> so mobility is related to function rom with structure joint integrity and flexibility so first joint integrity integrity and integrity and fun uh, flexibility so uh, as we know 
mobility is related to um, joint tenacity and flexibility to perform to perform daily activities because because if the uh, activities or tasks so sim in a simple way mobility relates to functional activities like joint integrity and flexibility involved in the mobility because if there is no joint integrity joint integrity means the soundness of the anatomical like a kinesthetic or arthrokinetic movement and the flexibility is simply we say that the uh, how flexible the thing is so that is directly related to the uh, mobility which relates to function rm to perform daily activities so next is like that so the next point is mobility of mobility of soft tissues and rom and rom of joints uh, supported by supported okay supported supported by supported by by muscle strength and endurance and the second is neuromuscular control neuromuscular control to allow to accommodate with stresses during functional movements so basically in this point we say that the uh, uh, when the any movement is occur or RM of joints or joint structures, they are supported by muscle strength and endurance and neuromuscular coordination. They both are interlinked. So, to when uh, any stress is applied to our um, our joint or any part of our body, any soft tissues, so they accommodate with the stress to allow to allow a normal RM to allow a normal function unit. So they are. They have to be supported by muscle strength and endurance and your muscular control has to be interrelated inter 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 with each other basically. So next is hypermobility. Hypermobility is basically the restricted motion. Restricted motion. This is simply as we say that the adaptive shortening of soft tissues that can occur of many disorders or in any situations. Uh, basically, uh, factors which include in this are which uh, due to which the hypermobility occur is first is prolonged immobilization, prolonged immobilization. Second one is sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary lifestyle. Lifestyle. Third one is postural malalignment. Postural mal alignment. Sorry, mal alignment and muscle imbalance and the fourth one is impaired muscle performance impaired and fourth one is impaired muscle performance impaired muscle performance 
Spin Muscle Performance. And the fifth one is Tissue Drama. And the sixth one is Congenital Deformities. So basically, if we say that for pro, uh, congenital deformities, so simply if we say that prolonged immobilization is simply we say the extrinsic or any intrinsic uh, mobilization that a person cannot mobilize for a long time due to any fracture, due to any um, trauma, due to any disease, due to any pain, any surgical fusions, any, any, any aspect. Uh, due to that a person cannot uh, easily move their joint they cannot for long time they cannot move their joint so these are the cause of the hypermobility another factor is sedentary lifestyle sedentary lifestyle is basically a person is uh, a long time bedridden uh, they are a long for from a long time they can be uh, on a wheelchair for pro pro prolonged positioning associated with their occupation occupation related work related area they all are included in the sedentary lifestyle then third one is postural uh, alignment. alignment so postural alignment is basically uh, um, scoliosis scyphosis any other any other like that uh, that are related they are both related to congenital and Scoliosis kyphosis are related to congenital or acquired. Then fourth one is impaired muscle performance due to any disease. A muscle performance is not proper. Due to any tissue trauma, the person has to be prolonged, immobilized. They cannot move their joints. So the any congenital disorders like in this there is scoliosis kyphosis. There is an example of scoliosis kyphosis. So these are the basically the main things that in this we occur so if we say in a simple way that these are the factors that basically cause the hypermobility that includes basically a hypermobility is the adaptive shortening of a soft tissue so these factors are, are the prolonged immobilization sedentary lifestyle posture alignment that their posture is not in a line their posture due to anything their posture is in is, not in a good position so their postural band alignment or muscle imbalance their impaired muscle performance tissue trauma any congenital any other thing that can be occur so these are included in the these so simply if we say this is the all this is the almost all about the hypermobility that this is the restricted motion the factors that are included in this is that so if you say that uh, um, due to that we perform this stretching exercises so next we are going to uh, uh, next in this we are going to study the stretching so stretching is basically an important stretching basically an important element of fitness important element of fitness basically they promote the wellness and reduce the risk of injury or re-injury so first we write that promote wellness and next is to reduce the risk of injury i can discuss in this in this in detail Next is to reduce the risk. Is reduce in oh sorry reduce injury and injury a risk of risk of sorry a risk of injury and re injury. So if we say that stretching is an important element of fitness because when a person has to be fit they have to be more flexible so when a person want to be flexible they have to have a great grip on the stretching exercises so they this is designed to increase the extensibility 
of soft tissues hmm. so th this is this going to be designed to increase the extensibility of soft tissues because we need the flexibility in the soft tissues so extensibility increase improving the flex flexibility by elongating the structures that are adaptively shortened that are long time that are shortened from the long time so we can work on them and adaptively increase uh, uh, sorry the, we have adaptively shortened we increase the uh, or we elongate the muscle so simply in this we elongate the soft tissue but through the stretching exercises so there basically in this we are going to see all these things important element promote wellness is include like that if a person has to be if the person is healthy but they want to be in a wellness component they have to be more flexible so in this we consider is like that for more wellness reduce risk of injury or re-injury because if a person is to be fly is person is flexible they cannot have that reduces the chances of the injury and re-injury for example uh, athletes have less chances of an injury related to uh, if they are going to be injured through um, any fall and anything they cannot be injured as hard as a any other person who is normal but cannot be cannot have or cannot get a great grip on the stretching so this is basically all about the stretching exercises hope you like it if you like it please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching